Hey guys, here's a new method to improve the skin texture on your portrait. So this was the before applying this technique and this is the after. So we are going to delete this group and start the whole process from the beginning. So the first thing we are going to do is to duplicate the background layer twice. So you duplicate the background layer and then you duplicate the background layer once more. This top one we are going to name it H and the bottom one we name it L. This H is for high and the L is for low. It doesn't really mean anything. So why on the L layer you turn off the H layer, then come to filter, now come to noise, come to median, and then the radius should be 9, and I click on OK. So we are going to turn on the H layer right now, and then we'll come to image, we are going to come to apply image. Now on the layer, we are going to come to merge and change it to L. And now the blending, we are going to change the blending to subtract. The scale should be 2 and the offset should be 1 to 8. Now you can click on OK. So right now we are going to change the blending mode from normal to linear light. So right now, if we group these two layers together, and the before and the after, there's no difference. So we are going to come to the H layer here. Uh, if you are using this, you can use this for frequency separation actually. Uh, so, and if it's for frequency separation, this one will stand for texture. So we've divided our image into a texture layer and a color layer. So this is the color and this is the texture. So let's just rename it like that. This color and this is texture. Now we are going to be working on the texture to bring out more details in the texture without affecting the color. So now come to filter, come to camera roll. So right here in camera roll, we are going to zoom in and now we are going to come to the texture slider and then we are going to increase this texture uh, the value depends on the effect you are seeing on the image so something this high is good enough now we're going to increase the clarity to bring up contrast on the edges and now a little bit of the haze now let's take a look at the before and the after this was the before and this is the stage we are right now we can improve the contrast a little bit and now we'll come to detail Right here in the details, we are going to sharpen image, the texture layer, we are going to sharpen it. So let's zoom out so that we see what's going on. So this is before the sharpening. Now I'm going to this. And the radius, we are going to increase the radius so that the sharpening is going to affect a larger area surface. And now the details, we are going to reduce the details so that it's going to leave the minor area out of the sharpening. Now we are going to max this sharpening out of the smooth areas is going to affect the, the edges so if we increase the max you can see it's cut right now meaning the effect is affecting the overall image but why hold it out on your pc so that you can see the effect of the maxing or option key on your mac remove these things like this right the motion that like represents the area that this sharpening is not affecting and the y present area is affecting and like we previously said, we want this to affect just the edges. Like this is okay. So we have applied the sharpening. Here's the before. And here's the after. We can barely see the effect of affecting the edges like this. It's going to sharpen all the lines. And now, when we are okay with this, we are going to go back into Photoshop by clicking on OK. Wow. So this is the effect right now being applied all over the image, which is not looking that professional though it's now sharp, but there is something we can do to improve this sharpening and make it look better. So on the texture, we are going to double click on our texture layer, bring up the layer style. If you double click on the layer style option is not coming up, just right click and now choose the blending option. So it's going to come up now. We are going to come to the underlining layer. We are going to remove this effect from the darkest portion of the image like this. 
to move it to the right. Now hold Alt on your PC or Option key on your Mac. Then click on this slider to split it into two. And I take the first half to the end. That is the extreme left. And now you adjust this other one like this. So we can remove this uh, sharp texture from the shadow area because that is how it is. If this image is originally sharp from camera, it's not going to be that sharp in the uh, shadow shallow areas. So that's why we are removing it from that area to make the sharpening look more professional and more detailed. So right now, for the final step, something we can do to still pop this sharpening out again. We can duplicate the texture. So duplicate the texture. Oh, this is too much. Now hold Alt on your PC or Option key on your Mac. Now hover on this texture copy until you see this down arrow button like this. And now click on the texture and it's going to clip this texture copy to the texture. So right now I'm going to reduce the opacity to zero. Now we increase it gradually like this. Something around 10 or five is okay. Now let's take a look at the before and the after. This was the before and this is the after. There's a whole lot of transformation that have happened to this image. This was the before and this is the after. On the image, you can still come to adjust the opacity just as much as you want. But for this video, I'm going to leave everything on the extreme end so that you can see this effect in its full manifestation. Hope you've learned something from this tutorial. If you have, please like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section. I'll be happy to hear from you. And also, you can suggest any video, any problem you're having on your retouching so that we can put out more videos concerning that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please make sure you subscribe right now and turn on the post notification so that you'll be the first notified when we put out more helpful tip, tricks and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of the creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.